official for this one. And he has the privileged position of watching this in the best seat in the house, unless you're a player, of course. 134. Well, it was a big game on New Year's Day. None of us could have predicted what's happened since then. The big break that we've had in darts, of course, Michael Van Gerwen returning to winning ways at the UK Open in Minehead. Before that, Peter Wright had doubled up here in Milton Keynes by winning the Masters. 97. But the pair of them showing that it doesn't matter what they've been doing, how long they've been away. Class really is permanent. And we've seen plenty of it over the course of the day. 97. Well, there have been questions asked of both players. Very different questions as well. With Peter the dates. Which darts is he going to stick with? Because when he was playing Dirk Telnik as earlier, he changed his darts after being 2-0 up. So imagine that at home. You're winning a match against a very good Dutch player and you decide to change your darts because you're winning. And then, of course, questions 100. are asked because you look like one of the characters from Thunderbirds. But let's face it, he's a very adaptable species of snake bite. And whatever he uses as far as a dart's concerned or whether he wears frames or not, he is still world champion quality, and he has been excellent today, more so in his last two matches. Yes, perhaps more chameleon-like than snake-like, certainly on the outside. Peter Wright certainly has some venom in him, as does this man. 57. But he can't display it with that attempt, and Wright has a chance to break early on. One, two, three, sounds easy. Certainly isn't. Doesn't get a shot of the ball. 91. Van Gerwen is staring down a 16 daughter. Game shot. That's exactly what he gets. Well, the holder throw to kick off this race to eight legs. Peter Wright was irresistible in the semi final that we brought you here against Christopher Tyschke, an average of 105.8 and. Seven one eighties in that match from Peter Wright. Twenty seven for the day. One hundred and forty. Murph, I've got to ask you, when the PDC announced that they were having this summer series and the mini order of merit that has been created for the five days, do you think both of these guys will have said to themselves and their entourages potentially that I'm winning that? I don't want anything else but first at the end of the five days. I think that is the mindset of world champions and world number ones. And although Wright is yet to reach a latter of those achievements, it's something that he certainly earmarked. And there are probably a handful of players, 91. maybe a, a group as small as two or three, who would have thought, I can win £50,000 next week. And it's on for one of them. 96. It certainly is. And the way that these guys have played on day one of the summer series, I'm not going to back against that, but I'm still going to say that maybe we'll get three different winners. I think Six. someone will have a consistent series and top the order of merit, maybe pick up two titles, but I do get the feeling that someone else will kick through. 130. Well, Van Gerwen has left himself handy here, so right really needs to strike. Just in the 18, but does not delay Game the shot. dart. Had no need to delay the dart. Delivered it into the double 16 and 110 checkout to level up. Did you notice the facial expression of Peter Wright just before he hit that double 16, though? It was one of ease. It was one of, I know it's going to go in. It's someone who knows exactly where it's going to go when it leaves his hand. He doesn't give a great deal away. He's a very good poker player when it comes to the camera being in his face. But if you look really closely, you can see small things. Percentages of aggression. And on that double 16 to win that second leg, there was one of, I've done the hard work, this one's in, and it was. Well, right. Finally got the Michael Monkey off his back. Had beaten him on many occasions, but not in finals, not in big finals until his day of destiny at the Alexander Palace with a, a quite simply outstanding performance against MVG where many were wondering if the the collapse would happen again, whether Wright was somehow cursed 
to that kind of fate inflicted by the green machine who incidentally has won the two meetings since that big one he's looking here for two tops 65 somewhat brash attempt at the 105 he might have been more prudent to go for the 57 i think but now Wright is waiting to strike on the 127 still one treble required there is that treble for the ball 102 ever so slightly pulled about half a centimeter a game show away and michael van Gerwin will breathe a sigh of relief as he sees that one go in little wink of approval there from mvg and i've always said about certain 57. players that when they're rested and fresh and raring to go they are very different animals and i'm talking about adrian lewis 44 might not have had the most <coughs> encouraging of days today adrian but watch out he might be one to come from the pack potentially but these two players when you look at their facial expressions when they play it they make it look easy one that's what great players do And nobody could have prepared for these circumstances, particularly today, the first day of this summer series. But this pair have dealt with most things in darts, haven't they? And that will really make a big difference. That experience, that s match stamina, tournament stamina. It's no surprise to see the pair of them here. Well, if you could have predicted what was going to happen, you would have put the amount of money that Peter Wright won for the world title into shares in Zoom. Right, to equalise, has time on the 164. Back up top. 96. And that will do, maybe. Well, speaking of streaming platforms, we didn't see that go in at all in the home tour, and we saw Peter right a couple of times, but he didn't really impress. Just goes to show that that wasn't really a, a guide at all for what might happen here. He was going to go for 20 double 14 there, Murph. Decided to go down here again. Game shot. Oh, it's lethal on the outer ring. And it's necessary as well because the two legs he's won, he's had to take those shots out because Van Gerwen was lurking. Quality of the highest order in the first four legs. And the fifth is not disappointing at all. Three darts in. Perfect response. The pair of them have both threatened perfection. At different times today, Michael Van Gerwen twice missing 100. the double for a nine dart. A Peter Wright going seven darts into it in the live streamed semi final. 134. I love what you just said there, Murph. Threatening perfection because that's what dart players are always doing. They're ne never doing anything more than that, really, because we can't be perfect all the time. We can just threaten perfection. 180. And some produce it over and over again that's his 24 maximum of this tournament peter wright i would say it's borderline ridiculous but it's just plain ridiculous he's just that good and this is a key leg he's got the 130 to get below 100 all of a sudden the pressure's on van gerwen to take out the ton plus shot it is on Van Gerwen's throw, and right. Wright is waiting to strike. Where does he go, Murph? Does he go for the 51, or does he go for the 25 and bull? I think we'll see him go for the 51. If he hits the 17, he'll drop down for the double. Or is he going for the bull? Let's have a look. Might be the bull. 25 it is. Great dart for that treble, because the bull looks blocked. 82. Yeah, you're right. He was forced to go for the treble there, because the bullseye was blocked double six Game is shot. not and van gerwen does dodge a small bullet to regain that lead at three two do you think if he was playing another opponent he might have gambled for the treble 17 there in that spot probably not with van gerwen on a double i think if he was a little bit further back on say a 68 or an 86 potentially yes those double double shots that you can leave yourself after a single from 91, I think you have to look at the position of your opponent before you look at that plan. Which is something that Michael Van Gerwen tends not to do. He'll go for the double-double. Right, just 
tightening his darts, hoping to stop Van Gerwen tightening 96. his grip on this final. What's your thoughts on the uh, on the glasses of Peter Wright? I absolutely love them. I think he looks great. One hundred and forty. Assuming that they're actually there for a, a real purpose and not just a fashion statement from Snake Bite. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a fashion statement, and if it is, I applaud him. Sixty. Because there's not many players in the one two eight that have played today who could pull off a pair of bins like that. Maybe Royden Lamb when he was on tour. One hundred. But Snakebite is one cool cat. Well, something that they don't do is it affect his throw at all. Remember when Gary Anderson started wearing glasses and it was a real problem for him. He brought the dart so far back to his eye that they affected him a little bit. You're absolutely right, Murph, because when he drags the back to Game dart shot. back towards him, Van Gerwen takes out that 130 the hard way. To get himself two legs in front for the first time. Peter Wright brings it back towards his face and it doesn't go close to the glasses. Whereas four. with Gary it did. So he had to make adjustments. But the only adjustments Peter Wright needs to make in this final is he has to hit that red bit a little bit more often and stop giving chances to MVG. One sky high standard in this final. Peter Wright firing in yet another maximum. One Both players averaging well over the 100 mark. Think about these two duking it out at the top of the world rankings and 94. finals and stuff like that. If you think back, this has been happening now for seven or eight years. This has been a long, long-standing rivalry. And when you think about other rivalries that have happened within PDC time, a lot of them haven't lasted this long. This is getting into the realm of Eric Bristow and John Law for me. 140. Well, their rise to prominence came at the same time, despite being generations apart. 57. Right, will have been relieved to see Van Gerwen not... Finds a treble in that combination and the chance to break straight back has presented itself here. Double five is a shot. 77. Can't find it and might find himself faced, facing an uphill climb in a moment. Small margins for Peter Wright. Come on. And Game shot. Michael Van Gerwen takes that chance on dart three. Wright was hoping for one more chance, but. More often than not, you're not going to get it from the man in green. He is looking very, very good. And when he gets the first win of a Pro Tour weekend like this, which is elongated, it's five events, it's not three or even two. 100. His confidence is going to swell. And he will want the big 50 grand. At the end of it, he will want all five. He will not stop. Just to return to your point, Paul, that meeting at the 2014 World Championship final was their first 97. meeting in, in any final. And they've gone on to meet in several since. 180. Relentless. Five treble 20s out of six darts in this leg from MVG, maintaining an average of just under 110. 91. Has Peter Wright taken too many body blows in this final? 96. Van Gerwen on course to record his fifth three-figure average of the day. The highest before this was the one in the semi-final, 107 against Gabriel Clements, just under 107. 57. Saved his best for last, MVG. Concentration levels have been excellent. He's going to go for the ball. 60. Can't leave Peter Wright in a 156. He knows that from experience. Because Peter loves these big checkouts. Just not right now. Yeah, didn't love that. Michael Van Gerwen did. 44. He's smelling blood at the summer series. 17. 
Is this uh, almost a last chance for Peter Wright in this match? I think this has to go. Still possible. Travel 19 gets that. Tops. Little shake of the head from Van Gerwen. Game shot. Because maybe he just knew. Does he own that crystal ball that we all wish we had? But maybe he's played Peter Wright enough times to know that even when you miss the big treble with dart one he's never out of it as long as he's got a mathematical chance he has the skill and the belief to get himself across the line right is not out of this yet well right himself has recorded averages of over 105 in each of his last two matches over 108 in the win against glenn durant in the quarterfinals both players have had their trials and tribulations earlier on this afternoon. Wright was taken to a last leg decider in the very first match of the day by Ron Mullen. 99. Michael Van Gerwen survived a match start against William Borland and defied a 107 average from Callan Rids in the third round. 32. Yeah, you might want to have to. Watch out for Callan Rids over the next few days. That kid has got a lot of talent. That would have been a very entertaining match to watch. It would have been fast. Yeah, the pair of 100. Them averaging above 106. Van Gerwen above that mark right now. 139. I feel that Wright needs a 140 here. One hundred and forty. One hundred and sixteen is just so much more doable than one five six. He's now afforded 90. one miss at the treble to get a shot at the outer ring. Well he would get the game back on throw. He's looking at nineteens. A single for tops. Game shot. And once again, Peter Wright picks off. A sublime checkout, the 116 to follow the 112. And just when it looked like Michael Van Gerwen was racing away, Peter Wright has reeled him back in. How big was that 112 97. now? He doesn't hit that. The likelihood is he is staring down the barrel of a big defeat. 140. Like you say, it, it is back on throw. But the quality of this game states that a hold of throw is definitely not easy. 55. Peter Wright's wife 58. has gone through back surgery recently, of course, and is not particularly mobile. I'm sure she's watching at home, so if you are, Joe, get well soon. See you at an arena or an event sooner rather than later, we hope. And Peter's hair is looking remarkably 137. Today. Yeah, it generally does in these Pro Tour events. Well, normal for Peter Wright. 133. Wouldn't see your average man in the street sporting a, a style like that. I don't know. He's looking a bit artsy today. He's trying to rival Ruby John Rodriguez for the quiff 40. title. Right, Wright's had three tumplus outs in this match. Van Gerwen looking for the finish to end all finishers. 145. And again, Van Gerwen misses a shot with Wright on a two or three darter. It's been this kind of range where Wright is just so good. Double six, biggest start of the match. 66. And this time, it misses. Come on, wait. 17. So does Michael Van Gerwen. You don't need to be fluent in Dutch to imagine the kind of thing that was coming out of his mouth then. Game shot. Peter Wright does not need asking twice. Do you understand the courage of that dart? the confidence of going for double three to start with instead of two Four double two and hitting just under the top wire of double three. That was a confident, confident dart. I cannot measure it. 
177. For well, the two best players in the world. At the top of the confidence, at the top of the game. 140. Going head to head, toe to toe, blow for blow. And it looked like Michael Van Gerwen was going to run away with it at one point. Right now, A85. I think Peter Wright has the momentum. He does indeed. And I can feel the love from our audience, Murph, because they've been starved of this kind of action for months. And now they're getting what they really, really wanted. Okay, a tight thanks. encounter. Van Gerwen's got it now. Okay, Wright's got it again. It's a Newton's cradle match. Back and forth. And Peter Wright can take the lead if he can put a flake in the 99. 125. 10 for double 16 to hit the front for the first time in the final. Game shot. Sometimes you just have to sit back and smile and realize that this world champion is just that good. There aren't many players that I've seen in my career who are as good at finishing in that range between 68 and 135 as that guy right there. Maybe he's even better than MVG, arguably the greatest statistical thrower of all time. But right, what a finisher. Well, he's had three ton plus checkouts in this match. And let's 46. have it right, 99 is as good as any of those that Wright's produced already. Yeah, it's the smallest number that takes three darts to 43. check it. 43. Amazing how often that happens between top players when one has a, an off visit and the other one seems to almost over focus and it, it throws them 140. and they follow it with dross themselves. Back comes Michael. Just to prove your point. How many 174s has he hit today? Plenty. And you know he's going to go 57 57 for double 18. Unless he fancies three balls. Now is not the time. 60. Yeah, 46 responded to with 43. And then the 140 superseded by the 174. Went for treble 20. The amount of times he's 56. at two treble 19s today, I am absolutely bemused as to why he didn't go for two green bits down bottom. For 36, I'm absolutely flabbergasted because now Wright can get himself two in front. Well, he can't now. I actually don't think that Michael had made his mind up when he broke Jockey there. Seemed to be slightly hesitant. Has he made his mind up for this shot? Well, it's double double now. Seven pull it off. A lot of people would have gone for the double 18 first, but he fancied tops first. He got one of the two. Peter Wright for 7-5. And now, is that awkward? He hasn't moved. Game shot. He knows best. He knows where that outer ring is better than anybody on the planet for me. And Peter Wright, without 93. a doubt, has come back from the dead with those two finishes, the 112 and the 116. That's what's changed this match. Yeah, back to back checkouts when he was 5 2 down. 131. And now Michael Van Gerwen has to 96. rack up three of his own, or it will be Wright that takes the first title on this summer series. Yeah, three legs in a row for MVG, otherwise it's three finals in players' championships that he's lost this year. One to Ryan Searle, one to Gerwin Price. One hundred potentially one to Snakey. He 
he laid all the doubters to rest, didn't he, Michael Van Gerwen, when he won the UK Open. But just imagine the pressure that would have been on him now 60. had he not, bearing in mind what has unfolded since. Absolutely correct. Look what Wright's done. He's left 170 100. for the title. This is Michael Van Gerwen behaviour from Snakebite, and this will be salt in the wound. 160 needed. There's that one. And another. Well, he's done it before to win a title. 105. Well, this was a shot that Michael Van Gerwen hit to beat Peter Wright in the first World Championship Game final shot. meeting. Didn't go that way, but it was that 72 checkouts. And he just keeps himself in contention. Well, the key thing there is that Peter Wright did not get a match dart. And I've said it on so many occasions. How do you beat 100. someone? Don't allow them a match dart or wait for them to make the mistake and not allow themselves that match dart. That's what's happened. Can Van Gerwen kick from here? And this is what he did against Gary Anderson in the European Championship final when they played. He won the last three legs and denied Gary the title. Can he do that to Peter today? 64. Well, the slightest sign of a wobble here from Peter Wright. 96. Van Gerwen in a good position. A lot depending on this visit from Peter Wright. 41. These guys are very well versed in playing long tournament days, but... They won't be as used to it right now. 170. It'll be a wrong time to hit the wall if you were Peter Wright. But what a perfect way it would be for us to start our return to live action than to go all the way. But Peter Wright doesn't want that. Oh, oh, he needed the lot and he gets the lot. To force a decider. Double five. 84. Well, Peter Wright, the signature of snake bites in this final has been these kind of checkouts. Can he maneuver his way around that dart? He couldn't. Shouldn't have moved. 44. You could probably see plenty of the top left corner. Van Gerwen. Double two. Come on. Game All shot. the way we go. Months you've been starved of live darts, and this tournament is the comeback event. And we are going to a one leg shootout for an extra 4,000 quid and to go top of the Summer Series Order of Merit after one day. What a start! What a start to this series! Four more days like this, please. Don't forget, join us from midday 57. tomorrow. For the second stage of the Summer Series, Players Championship 10. 97. He's already backed into a corner here, 180 behind. He'll be wondering, how on earth am I in this position? The way I was playing. 100. And that's it with these players, players of this standard. One moment, one of them's wondering, how they've got into that position, and then a few moments later, the other one's thinking the same. Well, Van Gerwen went to the 18s there on purpose. Gets the treble, he leaves something very small, but the 18 leaves him a very attractive number. 100. Professional dart players love 126 Murph. Didn't even have to go down for the treble 19. 50. Possibly one more chance for Peter, but he needs 140, 180 here. Well, it's going to be perfectly poised, isn't it? It's going to be perfectly poised because Peter has planted them perfectly. 180. Laughable game of darts to get us back on the darting horse. Can Van Gerwen mount the horse 
and right into the distance with the trophy. Game shot and the match. And the world Michael number Ringo. one is the number one on day one of the summer series. It has been a fantastic start to the action here in Milton Keynes. Peter Wright, the world champion, fought all the way. Some staggering stuff from him all day. But Michael Van Gerwen 